Hello plant people, how are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name is Ashley and I'm a soil scientist. On this channel, I like to take that science and apply it to all things plants. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the difference between granular and liquid fertilizer. Which one is better and exactly why? Stick around to the end of the video when I explain something special, which is this fertilizer right here. You can see a whole array of them behind me. I'm gonna get into exactly what this company is and why I chose the fertilizers I did from them. I want to thank Evolve Fertilizer so much for sending me all this product. I'm super stoked to do a blog post on it. You guys can check that out at gardeningincanada.net. Go follow their Instagram because they have an Instagram that is full of information. They don't do pretty pictures. They do informational posts, which I truly can appreciate because that's actually what I do on my Instagram as well. So they're gonna do posts about organic fertilizer, nutrients, nutrient deficiencies, you name it. The company itself, Self is ran by a soil scientist. His name is Sheldon. He graduated from the University of Manitoba. And honestly, this whole thing came about because I was actually looking for a fertilizer that shipped to the US and Canada that I enjoyed the ingredients behind, had a wide range of the different products I was looking for, was organic because a lot of you guys like to stick organic. I'm completely unbiased. I don't care which one you use. I use both personally and I found a company that fit the bill and it's a big bill, but it fit it just marvelously, marvelously. Okay, I can't speak English. If you guys wanna check out their website and you choose to buy something, I don't get any kickback, there's no affiliate, there's no nothing. I truly just wanted to find you guys a good product and I am pretty confident I found it. So I'm super excited to talk about that, but we're gonna talk about that at the end of the video. Let's jump into what the difference between granular and liquid is. I'm gonna start this whole thing off with Granular to liquid is more apples to oranges, in my opinion, than organic to inorganic. And I'm dead serious about that. If you were to compare an organic liquid and an inorganic liquid, there's more compatibility there and less difference in which one to choose than if you were to compare a liquid organic to a granular organic or a liquid um, inorganic to a granular inorganic. I really want to stress that organic liquid and granular are two totally separate forms of fertilizer and they they act and treat the plant itself very very differently and they should not be treated the same whatsoever. So the first thing that comes to mind when I think of organic versus liquid is its ability to disperse in the soil. Now there's a huge number of nutrients such as uh, phosphate, for example, that is not water soluble. So because water, it's not water soluble, it's kind of in situ in the soil. And what ends up happening with an in situ nutrient is the root has to go to that nutrient in order to capture and utilize it. The only way around this is through exudates, which are essentially sugars that are released into the soil that attract certain microbes that then will decompose the organic material around that root mass in order to deliver the nutrient that the plant is calling for. That's a lot of work and it kind of defeats the purpose of a fertilizer. So with a granular fertilizer, if the granular isn't placed in the correct position for the root to reach it, it actually won't be able to capture that nutrients. And it doesn't matter how much you water or how much heat you apply, it is immobile. So it is not going to move towards that root mass. With liquid, however, it is slightly different because with liquid fertilizer, we have it in solution. When we water through the soil, gravity is going to do the work and it's going to disperse it through the soil evenly. What this means is that even the water insoluble nutrient is going to hit that root mass and it will result in a delivery of nutrients that is beneficial for that plant. The other factor when it comes to choosing liquid versus granular is actually something called hot zones. And essentially what this is, is a salt concentration that is higher in the soil. When this happens, regardless of if that plant needs that nutrient or not, it's not going to move into that region if the salt content is high. It would rather release exudates to entice the microbes to do the work for it. 
So because of that, this is very common with granular fertilizer. Not saying liquid doesn't contain salt, it does. However, because it's diluted with water and it's throughout the entire soil profile, you could argue the fact that there's no escaping it, so they kind of have to deal with it anyways. Now, with that being said, if it's a poorly made liquid fertilizer, what may end up happening is you may just stunt the whole plant in general. With granular, it is able to navigate around the area and avoid it if it needs to. Liquid, there, there is no escape. The third factor is consistency. So the product itself and the consistency within that product. Each granule will have a different balance of nutrients, especially if it's a mixed nutrient. You may have one that is completely um, phosphate, for example, and another maybe completely ammonium. It, it all just depends on the manufacturing and what exactly is in that granular at that time. However, with the liquid, it is dispersed throughout the entire product. It is important to mention though, with any liquid fertilizer, organic or otherwise, things do settle out despite the manufacturer's best interest to try to stop that with different um, emulsifiers and products that keep things in suspension. So it's always a good idea to tip it upside down and give it a pretty liberal shake before adding it to the water. This will ensure equal distribution of all the nutrients in it and therefore you won't be overdosing your plant on something or underdosing it in, in some cases. Now, another thing to note when it comes to granular versus liquid is your lifestyle and what you're going to be able to keep up with. If you are not interested in fertilizing once a week, then liquid is definitely not the choice for you. If you want to set it and forget it, then granular is the choice for you. And honestly, all the points above, in my opinion, it's completely dependent on very minute factors. So I've grown in granular just fine. I've grown in liquid just fine. It's just, you find faster results typically with liquid because it is immediately bioavailable. We don't have to go through a decomposition process or a weathering process to break down the nutrients to make it bioavailable. It is right out of the container um, available to that root in order for it to take up. So you're going to find more immediate results with a liquid inorganic or organic granular. You have to wait for some weathering to happen whether it be a polymer that's around the outside of it that needs to be degraded with heat and sun and water, or if it's literally a manure pellet, something like earth medicine, that has to be decomposed over time. And the last and probably the most important part about liquid fertilizer versus granular, especially if you're in a cold climate or a Canadian climate, is liquid fertilizers, inorganic or organic, really should not freeze. When they freeze, it causes a whole host of issues and you want to try to avoid that at all costs. Granular, however, you can store outdoors, it can freeze. As long as it doesn't get wet, it is completely fine. If it gets wet, that's a different story, but liquid fertilizers, you wanna try to keep them out of the freeze zone. That is a very, very important. But that's literally all I have for you guys on organic versus granular. I hope some of that made sense. I truly, it, it ultimately doesn't matter which one you go with. Both of them work great. You need to pick what works best for your lifestyle and what you want to achieve. That's what it comes down to in general. Now, I got liquid because um, uh, Evolve was Sheldon at Evolve said liquid was probably the best in order for me to try it out and be able to recommend it and give you guys some details on it a little bit quicker. So I'm gonna be doing a follow-up video after trying this stuff out for a little while, both on the houseplants, my garden uh, seedlings that I've started. And then another thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a blog post on each one of the products and what I noticed with them slash the makeup behind them. So that's not gonna be coming out immediately, but it will be coming out eventually. And I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. What I will say is I've been on day two with this stuff. And I know that sounds funny, but I have a lot of plants indoors and seedlings that I'm starting. So it takes a lot of time for me to water everything. So day two of watering um, this weekend, 
And what I will say one thing is bravo Evolve Fertilizer for this uh, top. It reminds me of a Gatorade bottle and I didn't know I needed this in my life on liquid fertilizer until I had it in my life with liquid fertilizer. So this is a huge mess-free option that is revolutionizing what I think I should expect out of a liquid fertilizer bottle. Bob is literally blocking the shadow. Go back. People will like, he watches me when I film. He's my buddy. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Go check out Evolve Fertilizer on Instagram. Check out their website. Like I said, they're Canadian. They ship to US and Canada. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.